try again this time with god hello everybody it's queen agnes and today i just want to reflect on something and i want to reflect on how jesus christ died for us on the cross and sometimes i want to cry because we're such sinful people and we take for granted every day that we're allowed to live and we take for granted this body and breath that we have Jesus came down from his perfect home and he spread his arms across the cross and he got nailed and they placed a crown full of thorns on his bare head he bled for us cuz we're such sinful people and romans 6:6 six, six to 7 says for we know that our old self was crucified with him so that the body of sin might be done away with that we should no longer be slaves to sin because anyone who has died has been freed from sin so how long are we going to sin how long are we going to keep hurting our savior when are we going to make it worth him dying on the cross for it's so sad when you think about it really God has the power to change our lives but we doubt him God says come out and seek me and find me but we leave him hanging all the time sometimes we start our path with him and leave in the beginning halfway and we don't even think about how does it make our savior think James 4:17 says so whoever knows the right thing to do but first to do it to him it is sin let us stop walking around knowing what we're doing is wrong but we continue to do it God said if we come to him and confess our sins that our old bodies are going to be buried away and what doesn't make sense is that this sin is what's keeping us depressed the sin that we do is what keeps us from having the blessings that we could have in our lives it's time to realize that God has a bigger plan for us it's time to realize that we're blocking the blessings that God can give us because of our sinful path don't you want to inherit the kingdom of heaven if we don't become dead to our old bodies and if we don't become dead to sin we shall not see the kingdom of God because God is not a god of unclean things 